I agree with that. Yes. Right. You know the answer. Through the circulatory system. Exactly. Um, what really set Mr. McGee apart is he actually cared about his students. You know, like a lot of times teachers like set the curriculum up, but he really found out what our goals were for the class and he wanted to make sure that we were achieving these goals. And so he was always checking in on us. Every time he'd come in after class, he was always asking, how can I help you? I think that's just what really sets him apart and really brought him to, you know, winning this awesome award. His teaching style impacts student engagement and student participation and achievement um, every day. Because it's not, it doesn't feel like a lecture ever. It instead feels like we are this team working to try and create knowledge. It's, it's the way I would want every teacher, not only at my high school to be, but at every high school across Minnesota to be. He does a lot of repetition, which we learned is the best way to learn. And so we have to figure it out on our own. And if we can't figure it out, then he'll tell us and explain why. And then like the next day, we'll go over that again. And maybe he'll like lecture about it after we already did something in groups. Then a little bit later, he'll bring it up again. That's how I've learned. He's willing to go the extra mile for his students and to make sure that students here at this school are getting opportunities that students in bigger cities might be getting, um, which is just really exciting and what we wanted to see happen for rural schools here in Minnesota. He has a great balance of hands-on, um, that's always been my favorite thing uh, in his class is the hands-on and he does an awesome job uh, structuring his lectures also when, when you know you have to learn that way also. And so he just makes it really fun and easy to learn in his classroom. Questions for me? I don't know about traditional. Uh, if you pan around the room with the camera just a little bit, you'll, I think the first thing you'll notice is that my students are all organized in groups where they face each other uh, rather than me. Uh, everything I've done in my teaching has been structured to have students working with each other, not listening to me as the instructor. So I've worked really hard to have my classroom be a place where I set up experiences for my students uh, and try to help them get as much as they can from those experiences uh, in hopes that they are doing things more than listening to things or learning things. In my dream world, I think it's impacted engagement a lot. Uh, my students. Uh, ask a lot of questions and that's really the thing that I want out of every day is my students asking questions that then we collectively try to work on answering. Yeah what makes Tony's class so unique is if you walk in there it's just him all the time standing. You'll never see him sitting at his desk. He's always at kids tables asking them hey what don't you understand? What can I help you to or how can I help you to better understand this concept? And he's never resting. It's always him running around the room helping everyone. It's really awesome to see. I think remarkable teachers care about their students. I think that's the number one thing that makes a difference is we genuinely want our students to do well and we're going to work with them to get there. When I found out that I'd been nominated and when I'd been selected, I was flattered and I was humbled. Uh, teachers aren't wired to receive awards, uh, to talk about themselves, to uh, really promote our profession or ourselves. Our, our profession really is built around getting our students to be successful. And uh, it, it, it's difficult, honestly. Um, it's quite humbling. See you tomorrow, folks.